the family of artist Bree Johnson decides to let the National Bureau of Investigation or NBI conduct a second autopsy in Manila to uncover the truth about her September 18 death in San Juan, La Union. This comes after the Philippine National Police Crime Laboratory released the results of an autopsy which says Johnson died of asphyxia or lack of oxygen. The report says Johnson tested positive for cocaine use, just like Julian Ongpin, her companion on the night she died. Police charged Ongpin for possession of cocaine, but released him from detention. Ongpin is the son of Bobby Ongpin, one of the wealthiest businessmen in the Philippines and former trade minister during the Marcos administration. While police are not ruling out a likelihood of foul play, Region 1 Police Chief Emmanuel Peralta says it is more of a possibility that Johnson committed suicide. Police say they recovered antidepressant medicines owned by Johnson and her PWD card indicating a psychosocial disability from the hostel room she shared with Ong Pin. But the legal counsel of Johnson's family says the initial medical legal report showed signs of struggle. Bruises were found in some other parts of Johnson's body other than her neck. The councils also say Johnson's family viewed CCTV footage from the Flotsam and Jetsam hostel. They say based on the footage, there was an altercation between Johnson and Ong Pin minutes before she was found unconscious in their hotel room. 